Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the 8th through the 9th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius today. We're going to start with some Romance Angels cards to see what messages the angels have for you guys, okay? So we have calling in your soulmate. Your, your prayers, whew, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I like it. Let's see what else we've got. Finances and career. Fi financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Hmm. Okay. Maybe some of you or the person that you're dealing with. Um, you know, just kind of needs to focus on themselves, your material world, you know, before you can actually, and, and that probably will lead you to your soulmate because maybe there's some things that need to be worked on or they have some things that they need to work on. As I pick up the deck, I see the three of pentacles under there. Um, and this is working, doing what you love that, um, and in doing this, it actually, you're bringing in things that you deserve that you possibly have desired before now into your life into existence i feel like you guys are manifesting here to be honest with you manifesting those things in that you want that you desire that you need waiting on what you deserve you know the effort that you guys have been putting in and um yeah it's gonna pay off i feel that for you guys okay Let's see what we've got for Aquarius today. I don't know what's going on with my deck, but it looks like it's kind of mixed up here. Hang on, guys. I hate when this happens. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I should have left it, though, because... <clears throat> I am a believer and there are no coincidences. So, unless it's just like, you know, totally upside down. But no, there there's something that <laughs> that happened here that I don't even recall doing. So give me one second. I'm not starting this video over. And don't talk about me in the comments either, okay? Let's see. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Flipping these cards. All right, all right, all right, all right. Aquarius. My boys are Aquarius, and by now they'll be like, oh my gosh, lady. <laughs> okay, so let's see what Tarot has for you guys. I see that Ten of Swords here. A lot of you are just. <clears throat> I feel like letting go of um, things that have bothered you before, maybe letting the, the little things go and, you know, picking your battles here is what I'm getting from you guys. Becoming enlightened <clears throat> about yourself and other people here. Loving yourself. Oh, yeah. That most definitely, first and foremost, will call in the soulmate. When you start loving yourself and you start being compassionate towards others, standing in your truth, um, and then like sharing that with others, which is a typical Aquarius trait, um, you are the water bearer. So you bridge the gaps here, okay? Ten of Cups there. Oh, yeah. I feel like you guys are really kind of happy in yourselves right now. You're filling your own cup, okay? You're feeling fulfilled all by yourself. Is what I'm getting from this. And in doing that, again, I feel like you guys are manifesting your asses off here. Okay? Working very hard to do so. Fighting off those fears. Dealing with whatever issues um, that you don't like about yourself. Um, coming to grips with those issues that you feel like you don't care for in other people. Whether you can deal with it, whether you can't. Um, Fighting off uh, codependent relationships, toxic individuals even, maybe a Capricorn you guys are dealing with. But I feel like definitely you're working very hard in your um, at your job, um, in your life in general. I think you're just working to be happier, be a better person. 
is what I'm getting from you guys here. There we have it. The Knight of Wands pushing through. Pushing through. Chugging along like that train. You know, knowing that you have a purpose. Knowing that um, you have a goal. You guys know that the, the finish line is near. Is what I'm getting from you. Then we have the Nine of Cups there. I love it. I love it. Filling your own cup. Feeling good. Being there for other people, not allowing anyone to affect how you feel, okay? Because nobody can make you feel this way, all right? Nobody can make you feel left out. You have to allow them to, okay? So I think you guys are really coming to grips with a lot of things about yourself and other people. Then we have the hermit there, okay? I feel like you guys are looking for... Um, you're looking for this relationship. I think you're looking for that one here. Looking for commitment. The one that you want to be in the house with. The one that you can stand being in the house with. You know, I feel like you're looking for that. And I think that you guys are, um, you know, gaining your stability. But the hermit looks for the star. You know what the star is? The star is your destiny. The star is a path. That you're supposed to be on and who you're supposed to be on it with okay then we have the three of swords i really get that you guys are really kind of looking back on issues that you have experienced before with someone or somebody's doing this um with you okay thinking about these things with you what situations you guys shared that both of you were hurt in maybe for different reasons but nevertheless both of you were hurt you know and i feel like <clears throat> excuse me i'm getting choked up whenever i get choked up i feel like i'm hitting on some shit um <clears throat> excuse me but I always say that, you know, you have your stake in this situation. Somebody else has theirs. And then there's a sort of truth coming right smack down the middle of this. Okay? Realizing that, you know, yeah, you were hurt, but this person was hurt too. What did I do? Because you can only be responsible for the things that you do. Okay? And I feel like you're trying to, you're shining a, you're shining a light on everything. Trying to look at it from all angles. Okay? Because I think at the end of the day, you see this Ten of Cups with someone. And I think that is, um, that's the goal there. Now I see the Nine of Swords. I feel like somebody is really worrying if this can, um, if you guys are going to come back together. I don't feel like this is you though. I really don't. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is the person that you are um, thinking about here. Look at that magician. There you are. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this devil is here. Okay. I missed this one. But this one is um, reversed. So there it is. Okay. Somebody's trying not to see something. It's like, and I believe this is the other person actually. Another air sign you guys are dealing with probably Gemini. Gemini Libra, all right, but I, I'm definitely getting that um, somebody's refusing to see the truth, and I feel like you were involved in a toxic situation with this individual, okay, maybe it was very one-sided, maybe they could only see, you know, the things that they wanted, and kind of like, um, you know, kind of disregarded what it was that you wanted or what you needed and I think you've distanced yourself from that energy you're fighting that energy off um, but I still think that you guys are interested in this person and I think you're hopeful I think you're hopeful that that you know the situation will change because this person is refusing to see um, I, I feel the truth about themselves truth about the situation okay let's see this nine of wands there's that emperor there you are standing in your truth the high priestess hmm there's a lot that you're not saying i don't feel like you guys are talking um but i do believe that you know instinctively that 
in doing what's best for you, putting the right intentions out there, that you're going to, you're going to eventually get, you know, the things that bring in the things that you deserve into your life, what's right for you. You're not talking about this, um, and I don't feel like you and this individual are talking either, okay? I don't feel like there's any conversation going on currently. Maybe you feel like this person has um, a mistress, or they feel like you have a mistress or a mister on the side, um, however that goes for you. But um, I, I think that you're not letting it phase you one way or the other. Whether it's you or them that has somebody on the side. If there is somebody on the side. But definitely I don't get that you guys are speaking currently. Okay. Maybe it's Aries. I just saw the fool there. Being a little foolish. Um, being a little childish here. Let's see what's influencing you. The Knight of Cups going towards what you want. And that is having harmony. Balance in your life. Regardless. Regardless. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. The Four of Wands, what did I tell you? Stability within yourself. A relationship, if that's what you want, even. Okay. Aries there, I feel. Leo energy, Sagittarius. Hmm. And the Three of Wands. Strong Aries individual here. Um, but I feel like you guys are... You're walking away from things that... That you feel like are not solid. That you feel like aren't built on something grounded and, you know, just stable, period. If it's not bringing you happiness, I think, you know, at this point, you're willing to walk away from those things. Even if you have love for it, okay? If they're not good for you, if they're not serving you, I feel like you guys will wait for something that you feel like is for you. That's better for you, okay? For sure. And you're defending your position on that, regardless of how you feel about somebody. Because you can love somebody all day long, but if they're not vibing with you, if they're constantly bringing you down, um, then what good is that? Okay? So we have Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio energies here, Pisces. I feel Gemini is here. Um, Virgo's here. Yep, Capricorn energy. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.